four. Yeah. Oh, okay. All <laughs> First go to Luke. Uh, Luke, uh, Luke uh, 962. Okay. Hebrews 64. Look, if, you ain't out there, if you ain't out there on the highways and the byways, then you're full of shit. And the Most High is going to destroy you. Most I gave you strong delusion that you may believe a lie. <laughs> you, here you are being, all you are is a scoffer, man. All you are is a scoffer. You don't believe that the Most High is coming back. You really don't even believe that you're an Israelite. You might tell yourself you're an Israelite, and you damn sure ain't a man of the Lord. You damn sure ain't an apostle or a disciple because you're not doing what the Lord say do, man. Robes was looking up to him. Why wow, Robes was, was coming yeah, up, was looking yeah. up to him. Well, came to find out he was a monster. That dude was a brother. Huh? Go ahead. This is Luke 9 and 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow mm. and looking back, is fit for the kingdom. And that's why Mike got both his legs chopped off. Because he wasn't out there on the highways and the byways. Then you did a video with Ben Yum Yum and, uh, and uh, Ben and uh, Barack. Getting on us, the correction of the heart and GMS. Here we are, when you did that video, we was out, we, we've been out on the highways and the byways, man. Winter, summer, spring, fall. You haven't been out, when was the last time you was out there on the street? Give me a video, man. Give me a video, man. Give me, show me a video. Since you had legs, man. The fifth of never worry. That's it. Go ahead. Luke 9 and 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man. Having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom. Now, what does it mean by plow? It means doing this work. All right, it's a, a, a figurative, right. metaphoric for doing this work. Okay. I got a Hebrews. This is Hebrews chapter four, chapter six, verse four. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers. <laughs> Of the Holy Spirit. We want to read those in the line up since you got it. Leave it again. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 4. It says, For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift. What's that? What's, what does it mean to taste of the heavenly gift? I Meaning you start reading these Bible this, these scriptures, you realize that you're Israelite, you realize that uh you right, you realize uh why you in the con condition, all right, Ezekiel 9 and 4. They that sigh and cry for, for the abomination. And that's when the most have, you know, open your mind up. Okay? Go ahead. It says, read it again from the top. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 4. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened mm. and have tasted of the heavenly gift mm. and were made the heavenly partakers. Gift is the knowledge of this truth. Not because you've got a Bible in your hand. That doesn't mean, hey, G Man got a Bible with him, right? He ain't got the heavenly gift. But he ain't got the heavenly gift. The heavenly gift is when the Most High sup with you or set up teachers over. By the, by the way, you learn this from other men over you that teach you, man. How did I learn this from men over me, man? How did you learn it from men over you? What were you supposed to do? Teach other men. Hey, that's what the uh, didn't say nothing about being thou shalt be a scoffer. That's right. Hey, the Apostle Paul said to Timothy mm -hmm. to commit this word to other men that will be able to teach others also. That's, that's right. a cut. That's a cut. Yeah, it didn't say the star. All this, all this nigga's doing is deceiving people so that certain people come to watch us and see this guy. Oh, maybe I shouldn't follow these guys anymore based on what this guy said. And he's sowing discord. He's sowing discord. And that's one the of the things the Lord hates. Oh, he's going to, and you know what? His, 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 uh, his uh, judgment is going to be, most likely be a, a, a public. Huh? I got a precept to go with that. Go ahead. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 12 verse, um, 36, thou only has been me to know this secret of the highest. Therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in the book and hide them and teach them to the wise of the people whose heart thou, thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. Yeah, you just can't give this truth to any nigga. Oh, you got Jake, they come into Israel and they work on their job and they tell their co workers, you gotta tell your co workers shit. Because you might, he might wind up. <clears throat> Rat your ass up, man. It says, wait, back in Hebrews chapter 4, chapter 6, verse 4. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit 
verse 5, and have tasted of the good words of Yahweh. Huh? I have tasted of the good what? Of the good word of Yahweh. This is the word. This is the word. Okay? Word. It says, and the powers of the world to come. What does that mean, the powers of the world, the world to come? Mean, meaning you read, uh, like in uh, somebody hold on deck, uh, Isaiah the 60th chapter, we're going to read that whole chapter. Because that's a taste of the, the kingdom. See, once you understand the kingdom, the kingdom is a place on earth. You, you, these Christians, man, they're thinking about some pie in the sky. Like they're going to go up into heaven and float, drinking milk and honey. Let's talk. I got, a, I got a quick precept. I got a quick precept. Revelation 5 and 10. And has made us unto our power kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And we shall reign on the earth. What does the Lord's prayer, prayer say? As in heaven, thy will be done as, as in heaven, so, so on earth. It says in uh, uh, Revelation, the 21st chapter, that John beheld the new Jerusalem coming from heaven. Yep. All right? Oh, sec it. Second Peter 3 and 13, I'll create a new heavens and a new earth. Now, if, like Apostle Tar said, if we're going to be floating in the heavens, drinking milk and honey, which is a laxative, by the way, <laughs> right? If we're going to be doing that, why is the Lord going to create a new heavens and new earth? New earth. And then the earth, first heaven, the first earth is done away with it. Yeah. Meaning the white man's heaven. Yeah. yeah. Meaning his and Lordship. heaven means heaven. You, the apostle Paul spoke about the, uh, the third, third, third heaven. Third heaven. The third heaven is, a, is a, it's not up. It's it's a spirit. It's a spirit. Right. The spirit realm. Right. Okay. Right. It's everywhere. It's, it's it's everywhere. It's, in, it's the invisible world. Then the second heaven is what space where the stars are. <clears throat> and then you got the first heaven. Which is uh, was in this atmosphere, yep. inside this ozone layer, right? Because Capernaum was spoke about as being what? Thou being exalted to heaven, you shall be brought down to hell. Did, did, did that city actually go up? The Capernaum, Capernaum actually go up into heaven? No. It means that it, 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 they were doing good because it was a sea coast. So they, so people made their money for you. Didn't, you needed money. You needed some money. All you had to do was go to fish. You know, and you catch a big thing. Well, well Peter, and, Peter, uh, Peter, and his brother, uh, Andrew. Peter and Andrew, and I believe James and John, they were they were fishermen, man. Fishing. You know, and they got mad when they didn't get a good catch, and then the Most High blessed them with a good catch. Yeah, well, they, right, where well, they had the, the net was so yeah, full of fish. All right, they couldn't even the pull it in. So that was a so that's money right there, man. So the Most High blessed them with money because them fishes represent money. When you read the history, that's why when you read Capernaum, go to Google. Yeah. Esau gave you the history, man. He gave you pictures, what it looked like, how it looks now. It's in ruins. Thou being cast in hell, meaning you're in ruins, man. Okay? The history of how... The condition. The condition. Yeah, condition. condition. Yeah, that's right. condition. That's condition. That's it. That's it. upon earth, man. That's you know? it. Yeah, they give you the history that the past yeah. was yeah. going to about the sea. Yeah. Yeah. Sea coast and sea coast. How they... And about how a lot of wealthy people live eventually. Yeah, but they got their wealth because they were fishers, man. Yeah. Even, here, even here in the, in the um, Capernaum. And a lot of guys oh, got rich. Movie, yeah. A lot of guys got rich in Texas years ago when they had the uh, oil, the oil, uh, the oil boom. That, that a lot of people yeah. became, became rich overnight. Man. In the early 1900s. Like, the early 1900s. Yeah. Early 1900s. Yeah. Yeah. And then a Rockefeller played off that shit, man. Actually, you're right, Apostle, because um, it was the 19, back in the eight, 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 late 1800s, early 1900s, where, where um, John, I'm saying... You also had the gold rush. A lot of Jacob, a lot, rush, of, yeah. a lot of Edomites became rich yeah. off of gold, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, he, he, he um, monopolized the oil industry at the age of 18. John D. Rockefeller, remember John Rockefeller, and um, he was a man at the age of 18, then he, then he made Standard Oil, and he had the whole monopoly of the whole oil industry, like the whole world. Yeah, because the Lord gave it to him. That was his. That was his. Uh, uh, his gift. His birthright. But his father' name was Devil Bill. Now Devil Bill, Devil Bill told him he was to cheat his son, and um and um and um cheat his son and and all his makings. I'm saying and all his um his earnings. And he told him, listen, you got to be boss. Well, his brother was man. a bum too. Yeah. His brother used to borrow money, then he would he would spend it, he would gamble yeah. it, yeah. and he would get drunk, and he'd run out of money, then he'd go back to his brother and ask for more yeah. money. And, uh, John, uh, John, uh, John D. Uh, D uh, Rockefeller, yeah. he was the one that was, oh, he did a thing where they used to 
put oil in them barrels, that barrel over there, they used to have the barrels, and um, you, you had to seal it. And I forget the number of seals, but there was a standard number of seals. I think it was like 38 seals. And what he did was, I think he cut it in half, but it still held the oil. So he saved a lot of money doing that. So he's like an innovator, yep. you know? Yeah, because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, gave him that, uh, gave them that uh, wisdom to do all what they do. And, and, oh, Isaiah? Yeah, 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 go ahead. I got the one in Ezekiel 28. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, bring that one up. Yeah. Ezekiel 28, verse 4. With thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches. Yeah, because they didn't just get it overnight. He said, I think, but the spirits were dealing with, with this man. Dealing with this. Okay? That's why this man's on top, because the most high for the spirit on this man to be on top, right? Now, from there, you can go to Isaiah, where the Lord is cursing them out, because they think they got it uh, by my hand. Have I gotten, um, how is that, Isaiah? Isaiah, the 10th chapter. 10, 17? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I I think you start at 12 or 13. Yeah, that's what you start at 12. Because them devils are so proud, they think they got all that wisdom by themselves. Yes, yes, yes. Well, the fact that they're, um, you can hold on to um, a Psalms uh, uh, 50 and 16 and read a couple of verses down where Esau <clears throat> putting hell on us. He oh, sees that the Most High is not avenging us. See, Esau knows that the, the elite of Esau knows that we're the Israelites, but they're putting hell on us and they see the Most High coming to intervene yeah. for us because we're under punishment. Yeah. So they came to the conclusion that, oh, the Most High is with us. Yeah. Yeah. But we beat the hell out of these jacks yeah. and the most. And see, these devils been in power so, for so fucking long, they don't ever think they're going down. And they think they're right. Like, like vocab and them, they really think they know the scriptures. You don't know the scriptures, man. And if you did know the scriptures, start breaking. We're gonna do a, we're gonna throw questions at you. Break this scripture down, break that scripture down, man. Okay, tell me what the beast is. What, what is the mark of the beast? All right? I have a real quick. Go ahead. This is our Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. And that's what Esau is doing. That's why you pass laws to perfect, protect the homosexuals, man. Yeah. All right? Yeah. You ain't supposed to have homosexuals. The Bible says put him to death. That's it. That's it. That's it. So um, let me get Isaiah chapter um, 10, verse um, 13. That's what we get. Isaiah, I'm saying this is Isaiah chapter 10, verse 13. And then somebody holds second, uh, uh, second Peter's. Somebody was holding it. Yeah, right, second yeah. Peter's 2. Yeah. For he saith, by the strength of my hands have I done it, and by my wisdom for yeah, that's that's going back to Esau, like the Apostle Paul was bringing up. That's what they say. These these devils are proud. That's why the scriptures in Obadiah said that the pride of thy heart have deceived thee. You know, because he thinks about because he was this smart guy and he's so strong and wise, not realizing that it was the Most High that that blessed him, like the, the, uh, the brother read in um, Ezekiel. That's why when we teach the scriptures, we do breakdowns, right? What we call breakdowns. They say they do script, they do a video saying, oh, okay. you broke that down wrong, you broke that. But who the hell? Yeah. Who yeah. You? Because you've been, you've been in power for so long, you think that everything that you do is right. Yeah. I got a little more. It says, it's back in Isaiah chapter 10, verse 13. It says, for he said, by, by the strength of my hand, I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am prudent, and I have removed the bowels of the people and have robbed the wait, treasures. Wait a minute. That's Who the, the hell is that talking about? That's Esau to the core. Man. Wait, that's right. That's Esau to the core, man. He moved, he moved the bowels of the people. Who's the bowels of the people, man? The Native Americans. Somebody give me a blue section. It says, um, and have robbed the treasure and I have put down yeah, the inhabitants. Yeah, because this devil done robbed everything he got, he got the ill gotten gains, man. All right, he done robbed the, the Native American John Indians. John 10 and 10. All John, that. John 10 and 10. He done robbed us, Dad and Reuben. He robbed the hell out of us, man. Okay, the, down in the islands, the Tainos. That's why they call uh, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. All right, it was called what, El Borique? Borique, mm -hmm. I'm saying it right? Borinque, yeah. Right? Land now, of the Valley. They robbed them and said, we gonna call you Puerto Riches or Puerto Rico. 
All right? So that's tough. So come on, who's that talking about, man? They called it Puerto Rico after he took the riches. After they took the riches. Yeah. They did something else. <laughs> what they did to Haiti, or which was Hispaniola, they called it Hispaniola, right? Yeah. Haiti, Haiti, they, man, they tore that country up, man. And when they got they put a special hell on Haiti because yeah. Haiti was the first <laughs> Levi, Levi, royal. Right. They were the ones that uh, delivered their soul from the, the white man. So they had, so Esau have a deep hatred for, 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 for Levi, man. Oh, man. And then they were going, go, they were going to go up to the, the uh, north and free Jack, man. But Jack, the most high, the most high put that spirit on uh, uh, Levi, man. And they were doing work, man. They, they wasn't looking. They, 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 they didn't have no. They didn't have no love for Esau, man. Okay. Hey, hey and now the the, uh, the brother, the elder I have done. He was. He, he said the, uh, an article too. He, he was an article. He said, they said that Nat Turner was inspired through that that revolution <coughs> down in Haiti. That's what kind of you know the Lord used that to move him to do what he did. And he said the, the Lord he was going in to show me some stuff. What they did is they was they was fucking Levi up so bad they was. You torturing the hell out of Levi back down there. Napoleon Bonaparte and the rest of them, the devils and everything. So Look, Jake had to. to they rise had to. Up, man. They had to. They were doing all kind of like, like shit. They were having. They were, basically one 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 of the methods they'll do. They'll set like a, a blade right between between the guy, make you sit there and starve you out, and you sit there and eventually you um give up the spirit and blade it just slowly cut you in half. And he saw you got a lot to fucking pay yeah. for. Man. You yeah. got a lot to pay for. Man. Somebody hold on, I'm getting mad. I, I got Somebody you. hold on, Obadiah, Obadiah, uh, uh, start from the 7th verse. I'm going to start from the 10th verse. I did a video before coming over here. I said, oh, the Lord is upon the heathens, man. That's why I keep getting a little late, man. I got into that video, boss. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got you. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. And the day that thou stoodest on the other side, and the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gate and cast well, lots. Those foreigners were Babylonians. Yeah. You go into the history in your pocket. Go ahead. That's right. It's Nebuchadnezzar. Yep. Yep. It says that foreigners entered into his gate and cast lots upon Jerusalem. Even thou was one of them. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother and the day that he became See, a now these people, they say, saying, well, you got to love Esau. You got to, well, did Esau yeah. love us? I don't know. Now she's not a born Edomite. And first of all, the word abhorred does not mean hate. And the word Edomite is not, it's Assyrian. It's Assyrian. 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 But I'm yeah. saying, even yeah. if it was talking about Edomites, the word there is not hate. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And for you clowns out there that said we got to love some goddamn Esau, somebody get me uh, 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 Amos uh, 1 verse 11. Got it. Amos 1 and 11. <laughs> Amos you can't get around these scriptures, man. Nope, nope. That's why you're watching all our videos, Truth, yeah. all right? Studying. Studying, all right? And we ain't did nothing. We ain't robbed no banks. We ain't did nothing like that, man. We ain't hurt nobody. <laughs> we ain't grabbing nobody up. You want, you want us to do that, man. All we're doing is quoting, quoting out of the scriptures, man. Right. Right. And you hate us like, for that. Uh, and like, uh, 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 who, who, what's his name? Uh, who, who's the Ben Dragon said to uh, 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 Merlin? When he came and took the child, because he said that whatever, he he fell in love with that woman. Yep. And he changed his face and make it look like the Duke yep. in, the, in the original movie, right? Yeah. And he said, okay, you can deal with that woman. You can, you can have that woman. But what comes out of that woman is mine. Yep. If right. you have a child, that's mine. Right. So he didn't think about it. Then the time came where he said, I, I come for, for my, uh, my child now, you know? Yeah. And, then he, what he, what, and then he reminded him of the vow that he made. Because yeah. the scriptures tell you about vows. You got to yeah. keep your vow. Right. So yeah. he, he had, he had to keep his vow. And then yeah. what he said, he said, he said, uh, your words. he said, your words are harder than steel. Yeah. All right? Wow. This is uh, Amos 1 and 11. So these, so these words that we teach cut you to the heart. Yeah, uh, first, what is that? First Peter 4 and 12? The words of the Lord. Hebrews 4 and 12 too. Is it Hebrews 4 and 12? Yeah, Hebrews 4 and 12. You want to skip in the Bible? Matter of fact, give me Hebrews 4 and 12 right now. One he Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of the Most High is quick. All we use is words. Why are you all upset over words? Because you know these words are true. And you know these words are going to come to pass. They hit harder than steel. They hit harder than steel. Words hurt, baby. Words hurt. Especially yeah. when it's the truth. 
They know, the elite know that we have the truth. They yep. know that we're the Israelites, man. They know that Babylon the Great in the book of Revelation, in the book of Isaiah, the 13th ch chapter, is America. They know that, man. They, you know that you're the Edomites. You know that. You know, you know that. Like that old saying, sticks and stones may hurt my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's, right, right, that's yeah, not yeah. true. That's, that, that's words, hurt. No, words, words hurt. Words hurt. Yeah. Words hurt. Yeah. I got you. I got you. When you can't hear. You lose sleep over these words. Yeah. You, you lose precept. sleep over these words. Real quick precept. The book of Jeremiah 23 and 29. Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? <laughs> So words, hey man, words hurt, man. Yeah. <laughs> and it most has the original Maccabee. That's right. I mean, I'm back up on that. Right. Please, Eskers 28, verse 17 and 18. The stroke of the whip makes marks in the flesh, but the stroke of the tongue breaks the bones. Woo! Dang. Your, bone, your bones are getting broken. Dang. 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 Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not so many as have fallen by the tongue. Woo! That's and that's what the Lord said when he comes back, he's going to destroy him by the word of his mouth and then destroy him by the brightness of his, of his coming. And the word of his Stop mouth is us. It's us. The yeah. Most High. They don't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> the Most High is speaking through us. Right. The word of his mouth. He speaks through his prophets. And, and right. destroy them with the brightness of his it's coming. coming. That's how we shine coming with them angels, chariots. with the chariots. And them chariots are bright. Yep. Yes. Oh yeah. That's why uh, one of the titles of the chariots One of the brightness is the missiles. Yeah, yeah the, the mushroom missiles. Stuff. And the whole nine. Yeah, the whole the, nine. The, 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 ships, the, the, the ships are going to have lights on them. Yeah. All right? And then lasers going to be coming out of them ships. Yeah. Yes. All right? Yeah. Them, them chariots, I man. I that, if oh, I may. Since, since I mentioned lasers, I was looking at an article, I don't know if somebody sent it to me, that the Russians are developing and they already got yep. developed lasers, man. Yep, yep. Yeah. So they're going to lose use lasers on the East Coast. They're yeah. just going to yeah. shoot yeah. missiles on them. Laser beams. Yeah. Laser beams, yeah. Because cause, cause, uh, the Lord, hey, the Lord said, uh, Luke 12 and 49, Behold, I come with what? Fire. I come with fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah now that yeah, fire yeah. is the missiles, yeah. but them chariots, man. Yeah. Them chariots are no joke. And that's why um, uh, uh, the saying of them chariots said Elmo's fire. Same now that's what the, that's what the Columbus called them yeah, yeah. when he saw right. the chariot. Because how bright they were. Yeah, because the chariot was leading that bastard. Yeah. The chariot, yeah. he would have got, that, that idiot would have got lost. Well, that's a video. Columbus right? was led over here. Yeah, the Columbus was led over here because he, he had to, he well, had to get over here. Well, they knew Israelites See? over here because he yeah. brought, he I believe, with five. Hebrew interpreters, man. Yeah. So they knew that the people that they were going to encounter were, were actually spoke Hebrews, man. And they he had to be led over here because he had to fulfill prophecy. Because the Heavenly Father allowed Columbus to come over here, did what he did, did what he did to the so-called uh, uh, Puerto Ricans, you know, when he, the yeah. island of Puerto yeah. Rico, yeah. you know, yeah. did what he did there Republic, uh, to fulfill Spain prophecy. Spain over, yeah. There's a prophecy in the Bible, I'm not sure where the script is, where it says about Ephraim shall be ripped up. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, Hosea, right? Yeah, How the hell is that going to be fulfilled if the Lord didn't lead yeah. Columbus over yeah, there to, to do what he did? Yeah. And, boy, and boy, did he, man, he ripped, he ripped them up, man. Yeah. He, he literally ripped low, them up. Literally, man. Real low life piece of shit. Yeah. To where his man's even, even didn't want to mess with him. I forgot the dude's name. His, uh, his, Hosea 13, verse 16. Was it the soda? No, what was the name of his, his man? The one who wrote, the one who he wrote about it? The one that, it was his man. His, Fra, uh, Bartolome de la Casa. I think that might have been yeah. it, been his man's name. He was like, he said, "Look, man." He said, "Even I couldn't watch the shit he was doing." Yeah, because yeah. the spirit of the devil was on him. Man. Exactly. Yeah. Go exactly. back to Cain. He he had the spirit of Cain on him, man. Yeah. Cain yeah. rose yeah. up and slew his brother, and that's you, Esau. That's, right. that's you. Yeah. And that mark that you got, that mark was leprosy, man. That's right. The spirit of the devil which is controlled by the Lord. The Lord's anger, because the Lord already prophesied it. He said, look, the women are going to be ripped up. Now, when was that fulfilled? When Columbus came over here and did what he did. Yeah, yeah. Hosea 13, verse 16. Samaria shall become desolate, for she has rebelled against her God. <laughs> if I may say, that's why Yahweh said, look, I'll tell you one you should fear. He didn't say fear Satan. He yeah. said fear him that can kill both soul. Because Satan works for the Heavenly Father. Right. The one to really fear is the Heavenly Father, yeah. Yahweh. That's what Yahweh Shai said. He said, look, I'm, I'll tell you one you should fear. And then he said, my father is greater than I. Yahweh Shai said that. Right. It shall fall by the sword. The infant shall be dashed and in pieces. And by the way, it says Samaria, right? They, when that happened, they wasn't, at Samaria. they wasn't in Samaria. They was in the island of Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
because the, the, where the, the, the tribe of Ephraim, where did they dwell in? Well, the Samaria, the land Samaria. Dwelt in Jamil. Pleasant right? land, pleasant land. That's why the average Jericho person land. can't open up this Bible and understand it. That's yeah. Because they're, not, they're thinking about Samaria. When did this happen right, in Samaria? Right, right, it never right. happened in Samaria. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. It's a name for the children of Israel because they thought this in Samaria. Yeah, that's that zeal, that's that zeal. They look at us why is he getting so angry? Motherfucker, you don't understand the zeal of the most. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. You don't understand the zeal of the Heavenly so Father, man. No Being in this, this kingdom get you fucking pissed off, man. <laughs> <laughs> and surely oppression make him a wise man, man. Yeah, yeah. Bunch of you a bunch of fucking idiots. That's why y'all don't get angry. You don't get angry because you're not oppressed, bro. Oh, no, you're oppressed, but you're not wise. Know you and a lot of you like being fucking oppressed. Oh, they love being oppressed, man. You know, fucking G hey, they got a thing on the man. news. Uh, there's one article of the gun. They, they, they got a thing called like a right of return. So they tell him, they tell him so-called African American Americans, you can come back to Ghana. You think these niggas going back to Ghana? Hell no. And they said, look, if you come back to Ghana, we're gonna pay you a thousand dollars a week. Niggas still ain't gonna go to school. Number one, they don't know the language, they don't know what food to eat, they don't know what cook, they don't know nothing, man. These niggas been in this country so fucking long yeah. that they institutionalized, yeah, man. And I was thinking, nigga fight. And uh, I was thinking, man, if, if a guy, now this is a Yohanna bar, he said he had an uncle that was locked up for so long, but when he got out, he wanted to go back in. Wow. So when he got locked up, I remember many of old cars in the 60s when you had the hand and you had to push. Yeah. You had to put the key in and push it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah what Baby boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. From basically, era. basically, the handle, yeah. the handle you push the handle yeah. into. Yeah. Everything, would, let's say you, you get locked up in 1959, yeah. and you come out in uh, 2017. Yeah. You won't bug out, man. Yeah. That's yeah, like yeah, living yeah. in the fucking like Texas, man. Huggy yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's a, a, yeah, like him. Rotary phone and shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rotary phones and shit, man. The rotary phone. I remember the rotary phone. Then I remember we was, in the future, when you had the push button. Push button was the shit, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember where you couldn't leave a message on the phone. Yeah. So if somebody yeah. called you, you missed a call, you just missed a call. It yeah. was this Jake that was locked up since the early, like, like 65. And he said that when he came home, he said that he thought everybody was ages because they had the smartphone with the with the with the thing in the air, man. Oh, he, oh yeah. when they showed you that, uh, uh what's that, uh, um, <laughs> I'm gonna get you sucker. I'm gonna get you sucker. Yeah, Huggy Bear. When Huggy Bear came yeah, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he went in the 70s and when he came out, yeah, yeah. he came out with all that pimp yeah. shit on. Goldfish platform. Go, goldfish and everybody platform was laughing shoes. at him. Yeah. Now back then, people yeah. were praising That was the shit. Yeah, he was that yeah. nigga. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when, back when uh, Superfly was in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a funny ass movie, man. Teddy Pendergrass yeah. and all that. Um, 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 yeah, the um, music, um, everything. Yeah. Different. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when um, Tarzan came out. Back in the 80s, they all, every, so many years they come out with Tarzan, and Jake would go and watch it. Remember the guy, the main guy, uh, the dude that had the funny looking eyes, he played the Tarzan. Everybody watched that. The last Tarzan that came out, ain't no nigga saw that movie, man. They said, fuck that, man. When they saw around uh, Planet of the Apes, That's you know? Yeah. You want the Planet of the Apes? Yeah, back, yeah, back in the day, yeah. Uh, Jake used to watch Tarzan back in the day. Tarzan, Lord of the Apes. White man leading the Apes. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Hey, you still got a hell of a match. Yeah, but I saw it. I saw that. Tarzan, Lord of the Apes. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Uh, Ecclesiastes 7, verse 8. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. For us, not for Esau. Because this is our end. And give me a. Uh, 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 Second edge of 67. Benjamin shall raven in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Mm. Yep, yep. Our, our morning, our yeah. morning is Esau's night. That's right. Can I finish reading that passage? Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 7, verse 8. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient and the spirit is better than the proud in mm. spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's us. We're the patient in spirit. Esau is the proud in spirit. Right? Yeah, because we're the waiting. The of that heart have deceived me down and dwell in the cliff of the rock. This is and you know, it, you know, it, Esau wasn't patient because if he was, he would have lost. If he was, he would have. He wouldn't have lost his birthright. Yeah, he, he, wouldn't wouldn't he couldn't he wait, man. He, but he, it was all set up in the spirit. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But, absolutely. but spirit. it's still an example. He couldn't wait for the. <laughs> Look, I'm at the point of death. Give me some food, nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then, then Jacob got slick on him. Jacob, well, sell me your birthright. I give you that food. Yeah, give me some raw food. Yeah, yeah. So this is back in 
Second Ezra is chapter six, verse seven. <laughs> Dead, say dead so you fucked up Esau. There you go. You, you the one that despised your birthright, man. Impatient. You, yeah. you were a man with no integrity at the end of the day. No patience. No integrity. No intestinal fortitude. Fortitude, man. which equals the patience. So you fucked up. That's and that's another the video. Esau, you fucked up. Yeah. Esau, yeah. you fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Esau. They yeah, show you that in that up, movie, right? um, <laughs> yeah. uh, The Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> no, not The Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, <laughs> the Bounty. Remember yeah. when uh, they left him in that ship? And when they finally uh, uh, they left, uh, left the oh they left the captain. Yeah, the captain. and then by the time they got to the uh, to the to the shore, they were starving, you know, because they they were you know. And then uh, uh, what, what was his name? The, uh, Anthony Hopkins. He was walking. He was like, oh. he was like messed up. Like he didn't eat until he went and delivered the message. Yeah, yeah, because because one of the mates said, if I die, captain, you can eat me. He yep. said, no, we're good Christians. We don't do that. Yep. You know? <laughs> So he didn't, he didn't, he had character because he could have went and ate something in it, but he just went, finished the, the work, and after that he ate and drank it. Hey, but well, that's like the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Right? The Lord, he said, he said, uh, Captain Bly, other, me, other meat I have. That's a hell of a you know, not other. He said, for my meat is to do the uh, will of the Father. You know? Yeah, that's. Well, he was hard on the ship. Yeah. He was too hard because they said after they made him governor of some island, and then the same thing happened. The island was. Trying to kill his ass, man. Because he was too, you can't be too hard. You gotta have balance. Yeah. And everything that you do. Yeah. Well, that's the secret to wisdom balance. Yeah. Right. Before I read this scripture, right Mercy, here, Katie faith, Perry judgment. was saying that that um, human meat is the best taste of meat she ever had. Who said that? Katie Perry. Oh, well, she's a devil Katie bitch. Perry? She said, she said, she said that human meat is the best meat. The top of the well, line. Well, that I would, any man well, can I would, eat. well, I, well, I would never know. Hey, heathens, I would never man. know, man. You got to see You got to say they. Now that made me think of the movie uh, Kingsman. Kingsman too, right? Well, that was, we put a little grinder. And then, and then <laughs> I was just about to say that. That shit up. Yeah. And made a burger out of it. I'm, I'm, I'm scared to eat burgers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't know so what the hell mystery meat is. Mystery meat. It's juicy too. This is back in Second Ezra chapter six, verse seven. Then answer I and said. Where shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that Wait, follows? Wait, the, the parting asunder of the times. So you're supposed to be inquiring when this man's going to be going down. Even back, a lot of people talk shit about, you know, oh, you guys are false prophets. You said the, the devil's going to go down before the year 2000. Sweet. Look, this is what the, the apostles was looking for. I mean, the prophet. Ezra, the part in the Sunday of the Times. Why would we be saying that? We was looking for when we going to be set up in the kingdom, man. When Yahweh Shah, in Acts the first chapter, when, he, when Yahweh Shah came back, the first thing they said to him, Lord, would thou now at this time restore to us the when kingdom? At first, uh, when at first, when he, when he rose and they went back and they didn't see him, they said, oh, we thought he, he, we thought Well, yeah, that was, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they lost faith right there. They man. lost faith, yeah, the disciples, yeah, man, yeah. They, 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 were, they were of little faith, man. And, yeah, right. and then the Lord got mad and cursed them out. Cursed As a matter of fact, that's in, um, that's in uh, Luke 24. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to get it for you in a minute. Luke 24. It did, it did Tim, not Timothy. Um, his name is Thomas. 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 Why? Doubting Thomas. Doubt, oh, yeah, as they say, doubting Thomas. But, um. He, the Lord, Lord messed him up too because he, he used his own words. He said, I ain't going to believe unless I, I put my hands. And when they went to tell him that the Lord is home, because yeah. he seen the Lord get crucified. He said, man, if I, I, unless I put my hands through them holes that they that they crucified him, I'm not going to believe it. Then how it got rolled, rolled up on him. <laughs> He's right. Oh, that's Katy Perry. Fuck that. Fuck that. Human flesh is the finest meat in the world, according to Katy Perry. Yeah. <laughs> well, she said that recently, right? Well, she's a yeah. witch. She's a this witch. This is a demon, man. Yeah, because Halloween was just just the other day, so you know around. She said November first. Around the witches' Sabbath, that's what they do. They sacrifice. They it's do all manner of wickedness. Yeah, spirit cooking. They put. They put Human flesh and but hold up, vocab won't do a whatnot. video of getting on her. Yeah, no, that's not. You probably be eating human flesh right with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Can't wait to eat G Man. G Man is a crack thing, bro. Ping by G Man. Blue 24. Ping, the ping, the ping, the ping. Yeah, ping. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Finger ping. Let me find it. Ping. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Right. It says, um, back in 2nd Ezra chapter 6, 
verse 7, it says, Then answer I and said, What shall be the part and the son of the time? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And that's talking about the end of Esau's kingdom and the so-called white man's kingdom right. in the beginning of the Jacob, say of Jacob, which is unique with his mess, Native American's kingdom, man. You know? With the head is Yahweh Shah. You know? We are joint heads of Yahweh Shah, man. So that's what that's talking about. It says, And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau was born of him, which was Isaac, it says, Jacob held Jacob held first, it says, Jacob hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows me. Now this guy, Geno Jennings, Apostle Geno Jennings, broke that down, talking about Jesus. And none of those people in the church is questioning him on that, man. Goddamn shame. That's why we got to keep coming back and going, doing videos. Oh. Oh, all right, folks? Breaking up the shit. Frame. 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 Laid by themselves and departed. Hey, y'all want to move over here? Let's move over here. Okay. Oh, under the light. They went down. They went down. They went by the light. They went by the light. Ah, shit. Yeah. 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 Go over here. Go so, yeah. here. Yeah, 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 right yeah, 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 sure, sure. Oh, I can see. see Everybody want to sit on the bench? <laughs> sisters. <laughs> sisters? The sisters would have jumped all, all, all over there. Yep. Oh, Jimmy James and uh, I got a pee, I got a pee. Jimmy James and Terry Lewis would have jumped over there. Jimmy James and Terry Lewis. I got something real quick. Yeah. At two o'clock uh, Sunday morning, the hour is going to go back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. We get an extra hour of sleep, so to speak. Yeah, but then it's going to get dark at 4 30. Right. This is Matt. Oh, no. I got a quick little quick little screen. So, like, Matthew 22, verse 29. Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Ye do ear, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of Yahweh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a loop. No, this is what we read. What I just read? No, oh, okay, uh, so like, no, 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 no. like, he, he got the moment. This is Luke 24 and 12. Then arose Peter and ran oh, unto the sepulchre, yeah. and stooping down, he beheld the clothes, Salaki, so and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves and departed wandering in himself at that which was come to pass. And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Amu Amuas, Am e Imasis, Salaki. It says, which was from Jerusalem about three score furlongs. It says, uh, and, and they talked together of them those things which had happened. Yeah, going into the cruci crucifying of Yahweh Shai. There was a lot of things that, that was, it was a heavy day, man. A lot of things had, you had the, the, uh, the veil of the temple rent in half, right? It broke. You had what, people came from the graves, you know? And that actually happened, man. Yeah. People actually came out the graves yeah. and walked back into the into town. Yep. To the town, to their houses. And we believe that, man. Yeah. 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 That's been the the clips, moment, the eclipse. That's yep. been the whole scary moment in the whole town to see that. Mm. Yeah. But that's how that's why afterwards they knew yeah. that was the son of the most high. And that's so, why yeah. um, the elite are fighting against this yeah. thing. Because they don't want to <laughs> they know 
they went and researched and they got the evidence that they actually, everything that happened in the script in the past, they got the evidence on it. Yep. Yeah. You know, when the, the art, because what Esau, what does Esau do? Esau searches things searches, out, man. Yeah. He's wiser than Daniel, man. Yeah. There's no secret they can hide from. There's him. no secret. So he say he doesn't do he doesn't he doesn't read the scriptures and say, well, that happened based upon faith. No, nope. he's not a man of faith, nope. man. He checks, he, he checks things out. He's a man Farming. of evidence. Yeah. I want to see it for myself. And then the heavenly yep. Father allows him to find it too. Yeah. So that sticks it to him even more. Yeah. yeah so now yeah. he knows. You know, he's like, oh, so man, so now he knows everything that we're saying. Yeah. Is going to come to pass. And, and that's scared. the heavenly Father sticking it to him. That's why they got all these uprisings at, at, at Antifa and all these other so-called shit that's protests. going up, protests that's going out there, you know what I'm saying? Back on, um, you know, what, uprise of the people. Uprise of the people. You know what proof he know the truth? Revelation 12 and 12. The devil knowing no. that he have a short, short time. time. The devil is talking about so-called white men, right. the bankers. Yeah. They know that their time is up. Oh, yep. shit, our time is up. This man about to yeah. crack the skies. And we know that when that man come, he ain't gonna be for us. So and, then, get... <laughs> and, then, and then the masses of the people, they're learning about the money system. All you gotta do is go to uh, uh, YouTube and put, uh, what's this guy, Jim Rickett? Mm -hmm. Or uh, uh, this guy, uh, some guys are financial experts, man. Mm -hmm. And they'll tell you that gold is real money. All right? Like Peter Schiff. Peter Schiff is another one. Yeah, he's, he's the main one, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 What, what does that scripture mean? Yeah. They always talk about gold. They talk, always talk about gold and silver. And, yeah. they, and they always say the same thing, that that's real money. Yeah. That's and right. since I said that, somebody hold James uh, 5. Yeah. Start from the top, too. That what dude. does that scripture mean? Uh, the devil knowing that he have a short, a short time. He knows that his world is coming to him. Exactly. That's what that means. And he knows he's Esau. If you want to bring it up. Yeah. Revelation 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down onto you, having great wrath, because he know that he has but a short time. So he knows the truth. The short time for what? For him to enjoy his kingdom. Because he knows once Yahweh comes back, that's the end of his kingdom. Yahweh is going to set up his kingdom. Yahushua said, go ahead, go ahead. Yahushua said, I saw Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Come. There you go. Yeah. And he wasn't talking about the devil. The straight yeah, up yeah, yeah, yeah. Come out. devil. Yeah. He was talking about the so-called white yeah. men who at that time were calling themselves Romans. Yeah, yeah for, for your information out there, them apostles didn't know that the Romans were devils. They, they really didn't even know that they were Edomites. That was still the same. Yeah. Because, they were, because, because the disciples were unlearned men. It wasn't all. We deeper than the disciples. Yeah. Now somebody take that. Say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. deeper than Peter. Yeah, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> 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 yes, I am. I'm deeper than all the disciples. Man. Good, good. Yeah, well, I can show them things. Look, I'm deeper than Ari right now. Yeah, yeah. that's right. I, if Ari come back around us, we're gonna have to teach him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stand as well. Yeah. Huh? I stand as well. <laughs> <laughs> I got um, Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Talking about you white folk. Bankers, stop with them bankers. Stop with them bankers. That's right. Bankers, man. And, that, and, and it's not talking about the actual, like Bozeron, the land of Uz. I'm not talking about that. It's wherever you establish your city now, man. America is the, the, the head of their empire. It's the melting pot of their whole empire. This, this is the main, this is the main nice. spot. That's right. That's why it says, back in Lamentations 4 and 21, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass. Actually, America is, is, is Uz. America is Bozrah. Mm -hmm. All right? It says, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Yeah, that's a cup of slavery. Harsh oh, shit. Well, they're going to drink it down. Just like they made in the movie uh, Three Kings. Lemons is 4 and 21. The, the, also um, go to uh, the movie uh, Three Kings. Three Kings. We you had uh, Mark Wahlberg. Well, Ice Cube and uh, Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Yeah. Ice Cube. Yeah. And they went, they went over to, uh, to uh, Iraq. Yeah. They were there to pretty much steal the oil. Yeah. He said, you want the oil? Be that greedy, he stuck a, a, a CD in his mouth with the thing, 
and started pouring oil down his mouth. And they were so no, I remember that, oil. yeah. And then the, the Arab guy said, you make uh, Michael Jackson change his skin. Yep. yep. That was a Three Kings. Yep, mm, Three Kings. Three Kings, right. Yeah. Yeah. It says, um, it says, um, Thou show, it says, I'm going to read it from the top again. Matter of fact, it says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, thou that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken, and shalt make thyself naked. Yeah, because Isaiah, uh, Jeremiah 49 chapter, it says that they that was, whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, Hold on, hold on. What script did I ask you to get? Jeremiah 49 and 7. Oh, I'm about to get it right now. That's a spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to get it right now. This is Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 7. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perish from the prudent? Somebody hold Revelation 17. We're going to start at the top. Is there wisdom vanish? <laughs> Flee ye. Turn back. Well, deep wisdom oh, get you out. Wisdom get you out of uh, uh, situations, man. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't, if you're not wise, you don't. Like they showed this, they had this movie. It became a TV series. What was the name of that movie, man? Um, Limitless. Yeah. Y'all ever see the movie Limitless? Yeah. The yeah. actual movie. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. seen the part when he was running in the park, in Central Park, and he was running, and he already he already had seven moves in front of him. How you gonna do this and do that? Mm -hmm. This guy's gonna come with a knife. That's, that means your mind is on a high level, hybrid uh, mind, you know? So Esau don't got that no more, man. It's probably so that's a movie like that, similar to that. So, uh, what's it called? Um, Lucy, well, that's the best Lucy. one. That's the, Lucy, huh? yeah, Lucy, Lucy. I that didn't was, see that, that. I gotta see that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, Esau, but Esau is telling you, and, 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 and spiritual power <laughs> is based upon the mind anyway, because the Lord said that, man, yeah. okay? <laughs> Yeah. Give me one person, Jimmy James. Can you do that? You because you need that, brother. <laughs> you can't even walk down the street straight, man. That's right. You're staggering. It says, um, yeah, yeah, he's sta staggering. He's still up in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah talking all kinds of shit. This is back in Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 7. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perished? From the prudent, yeah. is their wisdom vanished? They, they, they lose grip of their, their, their kingdom, their yeah. society. Oh man, they, they finished, they through, man. They, they, being, they being exposed on every, well that's the Lord got them exposing themselves. You know what they're doing? Brick, brick nations are still around. And they're, they're, a lot of those nations, the Middle Eastern nations, uh, they're, they're not dealing with the dollar. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're not dealing with the dollar. Right. Yeah. And every nation, every nation that stopped dealing with the dollar, that makes the dollar weaker. Yeah. Uh, and, they, and they're not respecting the bullshit sanctions. They're still dealing with North yeah. Korea. They're still dealing with, with Iran. That's why they killed uh, Saddam and uh, Gaddafi. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Because, uh, because they, they was um, petrol dollars. The petrol, they, they went stopped, to the petrol dollar. They, they stopped using the petrol dollar. They you, know the, the you know what the petrol dollar, you know what that means, right? Can anybody tell me what that means? Okay, I thought petrol it was uh, backed, by, backed by oil. Money back well, by oil. You gotta go a little deeper. Oh, you can only buy the oil with, with American dollars. Okay. Give me an example. Um, give me give me two sovereign nations making an oil deal. Uh, like, like if China buys oil from uh, Iran, yep. they can't take the Chinese what is the Chinese yuan, money as a yuan, 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 yuan and then and then and then uh, switch it to the Iranian money, whatever whatever money they use. Right. What they have to do is they have to take the Chinese yuan. You have to change it into uh, Federal Reserve notes, mm -hmm. and then they gotta buy the money with Federal Reserve notes. Mm -hmm. Anytime you deal with, you know, that's right. the middleman, and that's what keeps this dollar strong. Right. As soon as they say we ain't dealing with that no more, mm -hmm. and we got a military that's bigger than yours, mm -hmm. that's when the dollar goes down. Mm -hmm. This place is already fucking done. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This place is done. That's why I said hold James, uh, and that James, James the fifth chapter is really talking about the mother nations. Mm -hmm. Uh, Isaiah 14, hell from beneath has moved yeah, to meet the right. that coming. Yeah. The stare from the dead. Yeah. That the kings of the nation. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's the other nation. Because Jake don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Jake, you don't know what you Israelites, you Negroes, you don't know what the fuck's going on, man. You're the last to know. Like I said, Ghana is accepting Jake to come back to Ghana. But guess what? If Ghana said, look, any black American 
You come back, we're gonna pay you a thousand dollars a week. Now, that's a lot. How many of you niggas making a thousand, bringing home a thousand a week? Not many of y'all. And I guarantee you still won't go out there, man. Cause you fucking institutionalized, man. You can you can say that say that whole type boy you fucking want. But do impress me by going and move to fucking Africa. You ain't gonna do it, nigga. Oh, nigga is the best slave, the so-called. Oh, he's the best that. slave. The best nigga, slave. Nigga is the best slave money can buy, it, man. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, Jeremiah, is Israel is a homeborn, <laughs> homeborn slave. Homeborn servant, yeah, he's a homeborn slave. slave. Yeah. Somebody get that. That's yeah. the most perfect yeah. slave, yeah. nigga. The boss put up. The boss put up a video, yeah. but I'm, you had the bitches. I'm saying the women that um and um and highlight land trucking and you know doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you see that video? Yeah, I saw it. Things I ain't looking right. Like yeah. 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 Jake still wouldn't go over there. Oh, hold on, hold on, brother. Come on now. They love on, America, man. That's, that's, a, that's a hell of a scripture right there. Je Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 11. Half a nation changed their gods, which are yet. Who, no who is Jeremiah talking to? Or the Most High talking to? This is Jeremiah. He's talking to the children of Israel, man. Half a nation changed their gods. Go ahead. It says. Which are yet no gods. Which are yet no gods. But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Oh, yeah. That's why you niggas love America. Be astonished, oh ye heavens, at this. And be horribly afraid, be ye very desolate, saith the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. Ooh. Now we got a deal. Y'all got any precepts on water? Now's yeah. the time to bring them out. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Read that again. Yeah. Read that again. It says, Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be very desolate, saith the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. And how do you get the fountain of living waters? Through, these, through, the, through the Bible, man. Right. And you just can't open up a Bible and just read it. You right. gotta have somebody teach you, man. That's right. Right, right. Even the Ethiopian eunuch, which was an Israelite, yep. Yep. he said, how can I understand it? At least someone guide me, man. That's right. Living waters. Go ahead. Jeremiah 17, verse 13. <clears throat> oh Lord, the hope of Israel, yep. all that forsake thee shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be ridden in the earth because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. That's it. I got, I got one. You got something? Matthew. This is Isaiah 4117. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue... Talking about spiritual water. Mm -hmm. And their tongue faileth for thirst. And they're failing for thirst. But they don't want, here we are giving them water, and we don't want your water. They want a cooler, they want Esau's water. I, the Lord, Yahweh, by Timothy Awashai, will hear them. AMP Black Church. I, the power of Israel, will not forsake them. Shasta. Shasta. I will open rivers in high places. I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make Valley means lowlands. What brings you up is water. Hey, hey, that's the, these camps are those fountains. I'll open up fountains. So that's what this is like. It's like a fountain. You got a fountain over there, a fountain over there, a fountain out in these other states. But Jake don't want to drink the water. One, two, three. You got four, five fountains out here springing up right now. They say drink waters out of their own system. I will make the wilderness a right. pool of water. Right. And the dry oh, land. Oh, what's the wilderness? What's the wilderness? <laughs> America. America. <laughs> the most I said, I'm going to make the wilderness a pool of water. <laughs> When you see water and it's nice and hot, you see a nice pool, you want to dive in, man. You know? Oh, that's a, there's a, a line from that song uh, uh, by Bob Marley, Rat Race. He said, in the, in the pools of water, the, the fool is thirsty. <laughs> Rat Race! Yeah, that's a bad song, man. In the pools of water, the, the fool is thirsty. Is thirsty. Says, that's Jimmy James in the pools of... <laughs> <laughs> in the pools of water. Well, no, he had, the, he had the water, but the most I zipped him up. He thirsty. He can't drink right because he zipped yeah, up. He right up. It says, and the dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shita tree, and the myrtle, and the oil tree. I will set in the desert oh, the fir tree, tree. tree, and the pine, and the box mm. tree together that you may say and know and consider and understand together that the hand of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai have done this 
and the Holy One of Israel hath created it. You know in Isaiah 61 it says that the sons of the alien shall be your vine dressers and your plowmen. Mm. Yeah. 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 You know what that means? That's slaves, man. Since the Amos the plowman shall overtake the wheat. That's slaves. The sons of the sons of the alien yeah. shall be your vine dressers yeah. and your plowmen. Mm -hmm. Talking about the Israelites. Yeah, like so those that. are slaves, man. Yep. So they're going to be working them fields, baby. Yep. Right. <laughs> Sirach 15, 3 and 4. Because because you just read he's going to beautify it with the box and the tree and all that. Yep. Well, guess who's going to prune it? Guess who's yep. going to make it real, look real. Just like now, Esau got the Mexicans. That's why we need to That's right. Yeah. they got the Esau going to be the new Mexicans. They're going to be the new Mexicans. But the only thing, they're going to get their ass kicked every day. That's right. That's it. Eat and they ain't gonna have no what? siesta. Eat them, can't see a hell. Right? Hell no. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> they ain't no, they will. No, they will. no, they'll have it on the Sabbath. Oh, on the Sabbath, right, right, right. right. Won't be much of a siesta. They're gonna, they're gonna, gonna be, be hurting, and they're gonna be working from can't see to can't see. On the Sabbath, they're gonna be hurting, man, yeah. from all the kicks and Picking punch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hoping that the Sabbath don't end. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. They're gonna be hurting on the Sabbath. Hoping the hoping the Sabbath don't end. Exactly. You know? exactly. Oh, they'll, they'll truly honor the Sabbath. They're gonna honor the Sabbath more than any nation on the planet. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Man, they're so gonna, they gonna be honor them high holy days. They'll sleep for 24 hours. That's why. That's Anytime why. Anytime they can get some rest, they're gonna be <laughs> yeah. happy. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's why the rich man <laughs> told Father <laughs> Abraham, yeah. "Look, send Lazarus." To dip, dip his tip in some cool, yeah. cool water, cool my tongue, because yep. I'm tormented in this hell. It's meaning, yeah. meaning, well, which is which is parabolic. Which is parabolic. G -G meaning, man. meaning, government man. They're gonna catch so much hell, man. Even on the Sabbath when they're supposed to rest, they won't. They won't. Just like us, we can't get no rest. I got a priest. Can we get any rest? Oh, no. So they ain't gonna get no rest in our kingdom, man. Go ahead, bro. Uh, Revelation chapter two, verse twenty-six. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. To him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as yeah. the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Even, That's right. which literally means we're gonna have that scepter. We're gonna crash him, bash him over the head, bash him in the back, bash him on their legs. That's yeah. painful, man. You whack a guy in the calf right here, or in the, <laughs> in the shin. I see, I, I see you're gonna be nice with just. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's painful, man. You take that scepter that and you hit him in the legs, man. Yeah, right here, right here. Yeah, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm going oh, yeah. to break their legs. Yeah. Hit him in the yeah. shin? You ever been hit in the shin? They're going to have to work broken up. Yeah, yeah. you ever yeah. been hit in the yeah. shin? That hurts. Man, that, that hurts, hurts like a motherfucker. Hell yeah. 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 Break their legs and heal it back, right? Yeah, well, you're going to heal it. They're going to leave that shit gross, man. They're going to hobble back to work. I'm going to let it heal slow. They're going to be hobbling. I'm going to let it heal slow. As soon as that motherfucker get healed, I'm gonna break it again. Yeah, there, there, there. <laughs> what? there you go. Hey, and that's that's talking about all the other nations. It ain't specify right. only yep. some of that didn't. Right. Let's talk about all the other nations. But all, well, all nations well, have. If you if you if you gonna be anything, if you can't be an Israelite, yeah. you better hope like hell you a Hamite, an Ishmaelite, an right, 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 right. Moabite, a yeah. Japhet. Japhet. The one thing you don't want to be is an Edomite. Is an Edomite. Because you won't get it the worst. The mother yeah. nation's not going to get it as bad. Matter of fact, we're going to have certain nations be taskmasters over Esau. Yeah, yeah. They're going to be whipping Esau. Just thank you, brother. Right. Yeah, thank like, you, uh, Junior. <laughs> yeah, like Apostle Tar said years ago, I remember this. Matter of fact, get that in Joel. Joel 3. He said, he said beating, three. beating down someone is, is very, he was speaking. I, I don't know if you remember. I remember. He said, beating down someone is very therapeutic. So in the kingdom, we're going to have a lot of therapy because we're going to have that rather <laughs> that scepter. Yeah. And we're going to bash them up and then bash them down. Yeah. Like you, you might like, bash them down. Like, and then when they're going down, you bash them up. Bugs Bunny, you know? Bugs Bunny yeah, had a scepter. Saying, Bugs yeah, yeah. All right. Sir Lloyd the Beast. Boom. A lot of bashing. Beast. All right. Uh, Duke of Ellington. Bash. That's a classic, man. A lot of bashing All right. in the Earl of Eyes. A lot of bashing hey, that's a, going that's on. A and then, 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 then he's going to get up and say, Take your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you are too kind. That's right. And you better say that, Esau. That's right. You better say that. Well, well, they, they, you gonna say thank you, so man. Have another. And when we bash him down, we bash him back up. Like you might bash him down into the ground, they totally disappear. Oh shit! Where the hell? Did <laughs> and then, and then, and it's in Job. It's in Job. It's in Job. I believe it's Job. 
26-13. I could be wrong. Whole lot of bad. It says uh, their widows are not going to pity them. Mm -hmm. It's in Job. That's Job 26-13. We haven't 26, brought that up in a while. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Try yeah. Job 26-13. They do a video called it the time of bashing. Job 26-13? <laughs> I believe it's that. I believe It'll it's be that. bashing time in the kingdom. Yeah, yeah. Bashing time. Parts of the saints are better take part too. Hey, well, that's what we're doing right now.